slash reach. The Bison Basketball Show with NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. Welcome in to another edition of the Bison Basketball Show. As always, Rob Pipp here, joined first by women's head basketball coach Jory Collins. Coach, good to see you. How have you been? Good to see you, Rob. Good morning. Uh, been great. Had a great weekend this weekend and uh, just uh, excited about how we played and looking forward to getting uh, down the stretch here. Yeah, two games we go back and look at, and it was a nice stretch to be back at home, picking up two victories. We'll start looking back uh, with the first one. Kansas City was in the house at the Shields Center. What did you like about this game, Coach? Well, I, I thought we really stuck with it in this game. It was a uh, it was a foul fest game. There was like 50 some fouls called in the game. It was really hard, I think, for both teams to get into any kind of offensive rhythm. Um, just with so many whistles and not a lot of opportunity for transition. Uh, but I thought we we stuck together. We had to play multiple people uh, a lot of minutes just with the foul trouble. Both teams did. Um, but we're able to make some plays, and, and, and you see L. Evans here had a really great game on, on Thursday night. I think she might have had 18 in that game. Um, was able to get back on track, didn't shoot the ball well last weekend on the road, and then this weekend, a uh, different story for her. Women at that point were 10-1, and one, now 11-1 and one overall, though. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but uh, you highlight the first of, of these games, and an 86-75 to 75 win here versus Kansas City. Kind of feel like maybe this game was decided in that fourth quarter. What led to the success? In the yeah, it was, you know, it was back and forth. They were getting back in a, in a pretty good 3-2 zone with some big size all game long, and and finally, in the fourth quarter, we got it figured out a little bit and, and we're able to find some holes in it. Uh, you can see Heaven getting a three ball there off some action that we ran. And, and just be, we're able to make some timely shots late in the game, uh, kind of penetrate the zone with some penetration and getting in some gaps and uh, was able to stretch it out a little bit at the end. Yeah, the Bison outscoring KC 26 to 13 in that fourth. Four of your five starters scoring in double figures. Just how have they been able to contribute and work together this season? Yeah, you know, when, when we've been good in one game, we've had multiple players in double figures. It was great uh, in that game. I think we had all five there, like you said. And uh, when we get that kind of production and, and, and that across the board, uh, we've been a really good basketball team. Yeah, and I think, too, you go back and you look at this game, the women were coming into this game on a three-game skid. So just how important was it in that mindset heading in to get this victory? Yeah, I mean, we were just excited to be back at home. We were proud of how we've played at home. We've had a really good home record all year long. And, and I know just leading up practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were super excited to be back in the shack for our last two. We'll, we'll continue on as we go back and look at Oral Roberts now, another game at home and another victory for your program. It was senior night. How special of a day is senior day for these girls? Well, it was fun. Um, you know, three players, all three players took some different paths to, to finish their careers as Bison. Um, but what, what I thought was, was maybe the best thing about the day was that all three of them were able to impact the game. Uh, you know, we got Rachel her first start uh, as a walk-on and, and, and a three-year player for us here. Uh, she was able to get a, a couple baskets in the game and, and, and really contributed on both ends. Taylor Brown had a season high for us, uh, 18. Uh, and Emily Binky continued to do what she's done for us on the glass and inside. So it was a good, really good day for us. Oral Roberts is an electric team offensively, scores a ton of points. Um, it was a high-paced game. Um, so I, I know for the crowd there that day it was a lot of fun to watch too. Yeah, and for your team, uh, first time this season over 100 points there, defeating Oral Roberts in outstanding fashion, 103 to 86. It's kind of a weird game though. 20 turnovers in this game, but then you go to the fourth quarter. These girls didn't miss a shot. They were a perfect 11-11 from the field, three of three from that three-point line. Yeah, you know we were able to build a little bit of a lead, and then going into the fourth quarter, or you know Oral Roberts was pressing and trapping, and and they forced us into some turnovers, but we also were able to break it for some easy baskets and, and good looks. And um, you know if you can go 11 for 11 in the fourth quarter from the field, you probably got a good chance to score a lot of points and, and win a game. Have you ever coached a game where it's been a perfect quarter like that? Um, 
Uh, probably, but not in the fourth and not not uh, in that situation. So that was pretty unique and it, it was fun to see. What did you feel like was really the X factor? Of course, Hamlin had 29 points in that five rebounds in this game. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's as simple as being able to finish plays and make shots. Um, that's something we haven't been able to do on, on the road and at home. We've just been a good shot making team. And, um, you know, the other day against Oral Roberts, we had a bunch of people make shots and, and obviously shot a, a really good percentage. Well, you finish up 11 and 1 at home this season, and that's the first time, I believe, since the 09-2010 uh, year that the team has had that many wins at home, and that does a really good thing for the Summit League standings, I believe, now tied in second place with UND. What does this look like down the stretch? Yeah, obviously, you know, we're, we're in a nail-biter here uh, with one week to go and, and two games on the road. Um, you know, it, it's us and them right there at two, and then there's going to be some other, those, that other group of three is going to, you know, decide some things too uh, this week. So we've talked all along since we've been here, Rob, about finding a way for the last two or three games of the season to mean something and, and to be playing for something, uh, and, and we definitely feel like we are. So, uh, you know, to go 11-1 and one at home is something we've wanted to establish a home court presence and, and really make the shack a tough place to play and I feel like we took some steps this year to do that. Yeah and 16 wins so far in the regular season that's a, a high for you coach what has that been like? Well it's been good it feels like it's been a long time coming um, but it, you know we're on the path our, our arrows still pointing up and, and we're going to continue to build on that 16 is not enough we want to be a 20 plus game winner on a regular basis and uh, that's the goal and that's what we're striving for. And we'll step aside and take a break. And when we come back, WDAY's Logan Campbell talks to the seniors. More to come here on the Bison Basketball Show. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Catch all the NDSU Bison action with Bison Media Zone at Inforum.com. From live game coverage to post-game shows, podcasts, live chats, video blogs, daily articles, and more, Bison Media Zone is your number one source for all things Bison. Follow the herd and find the Bison Media Zone at Inforum.com to catch your Bison sports news today and every day. Get more local news and weather from the most watched news team in the region. WDAY News, weeknights at 4 and 5. Committed to being first on the scene for major local stories and bringing you straightforward facts every day. Plan for the night ahead at 4 p.m. with the weather impacting your area. With more easy to understand weather coverage at 5. Everything you need to know. Turn to the news leader, WDAY News. A better way of life is better days off and better nights in. Better hellos and better goodbyes. With locally approved, financed, and serviced home loans, Gate City Bank makes buying a home simple. Welcome home. Gate City Bank for a better way of life. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back to the Bison Basketball Show. Over the weekend, NDSU women's basketball had its final regular season game inside the shack. For three seniors, it was bittersweet. For the day, as the basketball players visit with WDAY's Logan Campbell before the game, realizing the next chapters of their lives are just around the corner. It's been amazing, my time here. It's The culture here is amazing. The fans are amazing. Our team this year is absolutely amazing. Emily Binky arrived at NDSU four years ago. Emily Binky at the line. Gets Although the senior has a year of eligibility left, she thinks it's time for that next chapter. As right now, um, I think this year is going to be my last. That chapter includes marrying her high school sweetheart. A little bit of I'm starting a next chapter in my life, um, finishing up school. So, and I love being around my family a lot too. As of now, there's only one way she'd consider returning to NDSU. <laughs> if Fargo was a little closer to home, I think. 
Rachel Novak continued her family legacy by coming to NDSU, but basketball wasn't a part of the plan. I would say it was a bit random. Like, Jory just contacted me during the summer between my freshman and sophomore year and just offered me a walk-on spot on the team, and I was like, all right. While wearing the green and gold, Novak rediscovered her love for the game. It's been, like... A great opportunity, you know, basketball wasn't something I was sure I was going to pursue after high school. And then when I decided to, I think it just kind of changed the course of my life for me. So I've been so thankful for everything that I've had over the past four years. After 121 career games, Taylor Brown's five years of college basketball is coming to a close. Yeah, I don't know if it's really hit me fully yet. Um, it started to set in earlier this week that these were kind of my last practices coming up in the next month. Kind of was so real. Like last night, I was like, wow, it's really like one of the last times I'm going to be looking up at this screen like playing. But it's all business ahead as she's hoping that this chapter is far from being over. I'm seeing the bigger picture right now. I know where we want to get. I know where we need to be. And in order to do that, got to lock in, push other things aside and get the win. Always special for those seniors. Coach, I asked you earlier just how special the, the season has been. I'll ask you a kind of a different question. How special has it been for those three seniors and for you? Well, it's been it's been great to coach all three of them. It's it's all three of them had unique paths uh, as one grad transfer, one four year player, one three year walk on. Um, but all three of them have left an impact with us uh, and, and really brought terrific value to our program, to their teammates. They're all three wonderful teammates. Uh, and respected by everybody in our program. I'm just really happy for them that they got to have a great day on Saturday, not only play well, but get recognized. And, uh, you know, we love them a lot, and, and they've been great for us. I always ask uh, questions about what have the young girls learned from you guys. I'll flip the script. And what have you learned from your seniors this year, Coach? Just, you know, being able to stick with it, just perseverance. You get to watch, uh, you know, where we started as a program to, to where we're, we're trying to go. Um, you know, it's not easy every day um, and, and just being able to show up and, and put your head down and go to work. Um, there's something about that, that, that the stick to is just something that's different with people. And, and all three of these these young ladies have been able to show that and uh, we've all benefited from it. Well, two games left here. These wrapping up on the road as uh, you'll battle some tough opponents at St. Thomas, Western Illinois, just down the stretch. What do you have to do here in these final two regular Yeah, seasons? I mean, two, two big road games, um, and it's no secret that we've been kind of Jekyll and Hyde on the road and, and, and not been terrific there. And, um, you know, we want to have three good days of practice this week. Uh, we know what's at stake in the standings and, and competing for the two seed uh, in the league, and uh, we'll be focused up and ready to get on the road and go get after it. Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Congratulations on the success so far this season. A lot of basketball to go. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Rob. Well, this will wrap it up with Coach Collins. We'll step aside, take a break. We'll talk men's basketball with head coach Dave Richmond when we return on the Bison Basketball Show. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Are you looking for an opportunity to work in an exciting and innovative environment? WDAY TV is hiring. Be a part of a locally owned award-winning station. All current job openings can be found at forumcom.com slash careers. We're a leading media and technology company with a core culture of values and perks like competitive PTO, benefits, and more. Join our team of people whose passion and purpose is fueled by collaboration and innovation. WDAY TV. Build your career here. For the best sports coverage, turn to the home of local sports, WDAY. For exclusive live games, analysis, and much more, there are more ways to watch than ever before. Turn to WDAY and WDAY Extra or subscribe online to WDAY Sports Plus for up-to-the-minute content you won't find anywhere else. Available on Inforum.com. Don't miss a minute of the action on the home of local sports, WDAY. This is Jack. Jack loves sports. And since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Another rock and roll week. 
weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back into the Bison Basketball Show. Rob Pip here, now joined by men's basketball head coach Dave Richmond. Coach, as always, good to see you. Happy Monday. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's uh, President's Day here as we're doing this and honoring a, a legacy that a bunch of presidents have left for us. An exciting big week for us here at home as we finish things up. Well, we go back to the previous two games. We were on the road, the final regular season road trip, and got started in a good one versus Kansas City, a, a much-needed victory there. And I just wanted to lead into this, you know, it's nine and seven now in conference play in the summit, wrapping up the regular season road trip this past week at Kansas City. Uh, just that game, how big of a game was this on the road for your squad? I thought this was a really big game. Again, we, we started to play a little bit better brand of basketball and I mean, important uh, as, as you can travel, um, travel your game. And, and I thought we did, um, you know, we're, obviously we'll talk about the Oral Roberts game, but for the better part of 80 minutes this weekend, I thought we really defended. You know, for the most part, we were pretty darn good in the glass and some definitely some things in both games that we need to, to clean up offensively. You've seen us here break the press and um, some pass and catch situations that I didn't feel like throughout the course of those 80 minutes that we were very, very good with and um, some things that we can continue to get better down the stretch, which is encouraging. But I'm proud of the fight in our guys. Uh, you know, we, we came out hot. You know, we kinda, they kind of got back into it like you knew they would at home. Uh, Kansas City does a, is, is a good team. They've gotten us at our place. Um, but the, the way we came down and finished the game down the stretch was really encouraging, Rob. Grant Nelson had his fifth straight double-double in this game, netting 24 points, 14 rebounds, a career-high five blocks. Just what have you continued to like about his play? It seems to be a redundant question. Yeah, well, I mean, he's certainly talented and, and a unicorn for a reason, but um, he, he stayed the course. Um, he's played within himself. He's played within our system, and, and it's been encouraging to see. And, and he, he's gone out and he's been consistent with that. Those are impressive numbers, home, away, and, and Grant continues to put them up for us, which is which is needed on every night for us. Seems like this game too. Of course, the guys always work hard, but it seemed like they were having a lot more fun in this contest. Of course, it's easy to say that when you get the victory, but maybe a little patience and persistence in this one as well paying off. Yeah, I mean, I, I certainly hope so. I think that's a big part. It's one of our core values to make sure we're playing with joy and, and have that spirit engaging each other. And, um, you, you can see it you know, when, when you got uh, a couple guys like that that at the top with, with Bowden and, and Grant having success and um, that permeates into the rest of our group is encouraging to see. We talk a lot about the small things adding up to the big things. I brought this up on the radio side of things, but 14 of 16 from the free throw line, that number continuing to improve. Just how have the guys got more comfortable at the line and just being confident in making those free throws? Well, I think it's a maturity thing, Rob. It's, it's having the experiences. It's a, it's a been there, done that mentality. And, and when you look at success in basketball, let's not complicate a, a, um, a, a, not, a not very complicated game. And it's, it's making your box outs. It's finishing your free throws. Uh, something that we didn't do very well this weekend is taking good care of the ball. Um, it's a simple, beautiful game when you play it that way. And it's encouraging to see our guys get rewarded at the line. Well, we move on and look ahead to Oral Roberts. I know a tough game there, but these guys coming out with the fight as they always do. The effort always there. The energy was there. But we knew the, the task going up against Oral Roberts, a very tough team this year. Uh, but just some positive takeaways from you to start with, Coach. Well, yeah, I mean, again, first of all, Oral Roberts has, has already clinched the league title, and, and they came out and they played with a tremendous pop. But the encouraging piece was our guys battled back. I think it was 22-6, to six, or maybe even 25-6 to six at, at one point, and our guys got right back in it, cut it into a two-possession game at, at half, and uh, really showed a lot of fight. Uh, you know, we, we held a very, very talented Oral Roberts offensive team to under 37 percent from uh, for the night from the field and we uh, but again it's just a, a lot of the things that that are happening to us that 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 we need to do a better job of are controllable things which is um, encouraging in one standpoint because um, it, it's something that we can control um, at, at the, the the second standpoint is is you know hey we're, we're down the stretch we've got to be able to fix these things here real quick I think, too, you go back and look at this game, the guys were missing some threes, but the SOT selection looked good. They just couldn't get some of those threes early on. Tomorrow. Yeah, and, and, and again, I think that's a product of a bunch of things, too, Rob, but at the same point, um, you know, th those are shots that we've made. Uh, those are shots that we've consistently, consistently made throughout the year, and so, um, it, you know, it, it's a fine line. You want them to, to stay confident. At the same time, there's a sanity piece to it, too. If something's not working, you got to be able to change and uh, maybe get downhill, get to the free throw line, like you mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, it is what it is now. I mean, but it's something that as we go forward here this week and uh, round it into next week, uh, conference tournament play that we need to continue to hone on, hone in on, and be better. 
kind of going ahead and you know we can dig in now and start looking. Uh, we don't want to think too far ahead because we still got two games here to take care of at home now. But you look at the conference standings and NDSU right up there in the mix. Of course, Oral Roberts, the outright winner of the Summit League. But uh, there's still some time to maybe hold on to some rankings and move up a little bit for NDSU. They're already up there towards the top. Yeah, I know. I mean, we, we feel um, like we've made some progress, which is which is big for, for our young group. Um, at the same point, you know, we're, we're not where we want to be. We're not at the top. Uh, all things considered, and, and, and um, the most important thing is, is everything we still want to accomplish is right in front of us. And um, this is mid-major basketball, and we're, we are, and, and I say we, the Summit League, North Dakota State, we're going to have one opportunity to achieve that ultimate goal, and that's playing in the NCAA tournament. And um, certainly uh, seeding is important as we go into the conference tournament, but uh, the bigger thing is, is the preparation, uh, going into playing the best basketball uh, for us uh, this time of year and, and those things are ahead of us as we move forward. What coach whenever you get to this point of the season and I know it's always one game at a time but when do you and your staff start to get a little bit excited about that Summit League <laughs> tournament? Well you know the staff does a good job kind of probably behind the scenes and uh, behind my back a little bit of of looking and, and playing out the, the the scenarios and all those things, Rob. But at, at the same point for me, it, it's really about today's practice and 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 then tomorrow's practice. And um, you know, I know Jory will probably tell you the same thing. Most coaches, this is a process-oriented program, a process-oriented team. Um, and, and the standings, the conference tournament, all that means nothing if we're not taking an opportunity to get better. How have the guys responded this year to a lot of adversity, having to battle back in games and then being close in some games? What's that response been? For yeah, I mean, I, I've been very, very pleased. Um, again, my patience isn't always a, a, my best virtue, uh, but the, the guys have responded to your point in, in a very... Uh, very mature way. Uh, we, we've made a lot of progress and you can see the progress. It's, it's fun to kind of talk to people outside of our program that, that do pay attention and, and see the, the development, the maturation, uh, the progress um, throughout the season. And, and hopefully again, uh, we don't want to be a finished product right now here in, in late February. We want to be working towards that um, as, as we round into conference tournament play and, and, and that's an important week for us to continue to get better. We'll step aside and take a break. We've got more here with head coach Dave Richmond. Stay with us. The Bison Basketball Show continues after this. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. When the game ends, we're just beginning. Sports Sunday. The award-winning WDAY sports team dives into the biggest sports stories throughout the region. Get to know the athletes behind the major plays. WDAY presents the best sports show in the region. When the game ends, we're just beginning. Sports Sunday, Sunday nights at 1035. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with the tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. The WDAY Storm Tracker team goes in depth every week with Weather Wednesday, brought to you by Northwest Tire. Go beyond the forecast with a special look at weather topics impacting your area. Tune in and watch every Wednesday on First News, mornings from 5 to 7, the 9 p.m. news on WDAY Extra, and WDAY News at 10 p.m. Watch Weather Wednesday every week, brought to you by Northwest Tire. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Welcome back to the Bison Basketball Show. Two big games to wrap up the season. Back at home at the Shills Center, starting with St. Thomas, that game on Thursday. It's going to be whiteout night there, Wes Offerman told me, so it should be a good opportunity. What are you looking forward to in this matchup, Coach? Well, first and foremost, we've just we've had some really good crowds, in particular our students. And, and college basketball is, is my favorite, obviously, for a lot of reasons. But that spirit and atmosphere of playing at home and that energy that the crowd brings and the student section getting into it and, 
Um, you know, it, it's what makes college basketball what it is, Rob. And, and St. Thomas has, has continued to make great progress within our league. Um, they got us at, at uh, their place in, in, in December, right before break. And so I, I know we're excited for, for the St. Thomas game on Thursday night. Uh, for me as a coach, I'm, I'm more excited about practices here leading up to those. And then on Saturday, of course, get to look forward to Western Illinois to wrap up the season on Senior Day. That game on Saturday taking place at 1 o'clock, of course, at the Shill Center as well. And a special day for your seniors. What is, What kind of emotions do you go through as a head coach on these senior days? Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one for us because, you know, we don't have any necessarily true seniors right now, Rob. But, it, you know, it's it's um, transformational times. And, you know, who knows what uh, what, what could or, or may transpire, you know, after the season. But um, it's just kind of the culmination uh, of an exciting journey in, in finishing up things at home. Uh, we'll be excited about it. Uh, Trenton Masner is one of the better players in the league for Western Illinois. And, again, you just really want to encourage our fans, our students, students, uh, all of our supporters to come out and um, get a look at this 2022-23 uh, uh, version of, of, of a Bison team as we uh, round into form in, in conference tournament play. Yeah, you brought up a good point because there are no seniors on this and, and that I was kind of guiding the question in a different area. It came out the wrong way, but when you think of seniors, I mean, this is the first year in a while you haven't had any seniors. Yeah. And, and so how does that make it a little a bit different and unique for you? You know, again, it's, I, I don't know, Rob, I, I'm probably poor at this, but just trying to really just focus and stay in the moment and, and keep each guy in, in the moment and then everything else will take care of itself. And um, there, there's uncertainty here. There's there's a comparison there and uh, we need to be locked in and focus on the things that we can control and um, yeah I mean clearly I'm, we're, we're all excited for the games uh, we're all excited to finish things up here at home and in front of our crowd but we we need to be making sure that we're excited for our practices and I know um, that might be the boring old coach in me but um, it, it's just the truth we the, we have to continue to take opportunities practice film sessions shoot arounds to continue to get better uh, to become that best version of ourselves we've got two wonderful opportunities to do that but also two great challenges Thursday night and Saturday afternoon coach got about 30 seconds remaining here I asked Jory this earlier on the women's side I'll ask you kind of a unique question what have you learned from the team this year uh, it's, I just learned um, you know that my, my battles don't always need to be so um, um, so direct right I mean this is a great group that's taught me uh, patience uh, they have great character um, they want to learn things. They're not making mistakes on purpose, Rob. And so it's been great to just sit back and enjoy them, to enjoy their progress. And, and we, we, we really pride ourselves in our development. And, and you can see it inside. You can see it outside, the progress, the development within our group this year. Well, still looking forward. We still got two games and then more on the way after that. So get out to the Shill Center, support these young men. You can get the tickets always at Go. Bison.com. Looking forward to it. We'll see you out there wide out on Thursday and then wrapping it up on Saturday. As always, thanks for being here with us. Appreciate you. Horns up and go Bison. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.